Hello everyone. I'm Samiksha Chaudhary, working as a techno functional consultant at BISP Solutions. This video is based on ticket resolving. So today we are going to view one use case which I have gone through and I was working on a project. So let us start with the first case. In this ticket, the issue is upload balances of source system to data management in profile. This is the profile ID for July period in functional currency and functional currencies INR and we need to translate these balances to reporting currency. Reporting currency is USD. So now I'm going to ARCS interface to solve this issue. This is our ARCS application. This is the home page of our application. So first go to the profile. Go to this application card, then profile card and check this profile. This is a profile ID. 101-00028. This is the profile ID. This is the profile. Open this profile. And in this profile, go to this currency. And here we need to set two currency. One is functional and one is reporting. So functional currency is INR and reporting currency in USD. After this, we need to upload the balances in July 22 period. So for this, we need exchange rates for July 22 period. For uploading exchange rate, go to this period, select the period, uh, July 22. In our case, we need to upload currency rates in July 22. I'm showing you the exchange rate file for exchange rate. This is my file for exchange rate. In this file, you can see there are three columns. One is from currency to currency and then rate column. Here we are uploading the rate for USD and INR. I will upload this exchange rate in July 22 period. Go to the period card and select the period. Select import currency rates. We are working in accounting rates. Select your file. This is file. This file is in CSV format. Import the exchange rates. See, completed successfully. After importing the exchange rate, we will upload balances in some subsystem. But up, we need to upload balances through data management. For this, open data management. Go to the navigator. Open data management. the data management window go to the setup first we need to register the source system and target application so our source system will be file because we are uh, uploading data through file and target application will be account reconciliation manager now i'm creating format create one format for this currency multi currency import format then source system will be file and target application will be account reconciliation manager it is already registered in this and Date file type will be delimited numeric data. Save this format. Now we need to do mapping for this. This 
is extra. I'm deleting this. Now I'm showing you the uh, file, source system file, source system balance file. This is my balance file. In this, you can see there are five columns profile ID, company, account, currency code, and amount. Now we will do mappings. Map account with account. Account is in third column. Field number is three. Then amount, map amount with amount. Amount is in fifth column. And no need to map bill number. Then map company with company. Second column. Profile. First column. But in our file, you can see there is one additional column for currency. Now we need to add one column one row currency one row for currency go to this add option then add one currency row save this format there is some application error i'm doing this again Account third column. Company second column. Right. Save this format. This format is saved. After creating the format, create one location. Multi currency location. Attach format in this location. We have created multi currency format. Save this location. After creating location, we need to do data load mapping. Here, select the correct POVs. Select your location. Here it is July 22.
category, functional category. Now we need to do mappings for these dimensions. In this case, we will do light mapping. In source type, we will do light mapping, but in target value, we need to mention whether this data is for source system or self system. So in this case, we are loading data in source system. So in target value, right, source system. Save this. So our data loading load mapping is completed. Now we will do data load. We will create data load rule. Select format. Save this. Select your file. In this, we will upload this file. This file. Upload this file. Save this data load rule. Now we will execute data load rule. Run data load rule. Then refresh it until the status is changed. You can see the status is success. Now in data load workbench, you can see this data. See, this data is uploaded. This 90,000 balance, this data is uploaded. For exporting this data in application, we need to push data through application. Now I'm going to ARCS application. Go to the period card, select your period, then select import data, create one location. Mode will be snapshot. Then and tick this trans this option translate balances to higher currency bucket because in this case we are translating data from functional currency to reporting currency so uh, let's select this option 
Now select your location and tick all other locations. This is our location. Okay, now refresh it until the status is changed. is completed now go to the profile to check the balances select the period period is uh, july 22 search your profile our profile id is this 101 you can see data is uploaded source system balance is 90,000 it is in INR now I will show you how you can see this data in reporting currency see if you create reconciliation for this profile For July period, reconciliation is created. Now go to the reconciliation card. Select the correct period, July 22. Search your profile. Here you can see balance is in INR, but if you select all currency or reporting currency, you can see this data is translated to reporting currency because we have uploaded these exchange rate. These one dollar is equals to 80 rupees. You can see. This INR amount is converted to converted in USD. In this way, you can translate functional currency to reporting currency. Thank you.